Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on today's video. So as you can tell today is a boohoo haul. I actually forgot what it was. <laughs> so as you can tell today is a boohoo haul. I have two massive piles of clothes and two massive bags that arrived so I've got a lot to get through. Um, I'll try and make it quick. So enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you do and let's get into the video. So the first thing I've got is this cardigan. So I'm really into cardigans at the minute. So I got this in a size small. It's um, I actually really like it. So it's like a cream cardigan, but then it's got scallop detailing, like well black scallop detailing, and then it's also got detailing on the middle bit here. So it's a different pattern. I really like this. I picked this up in a size small, and I definitely want a bigger size medium or large. So for size reference I'm normally like a size 10, 12 and I am 5 foot 3 in height. So a small is for me personally a bit too small. I think for other people it might fit perfectly but for me this is a small but it's a bit too small for me but I love the just the rat the little detailing although I wore a black top when I tried this on and you actually couldn't see the black scallop detailing when I had a black top on so that's not not the best but off to a good start. Next up I ventured into the Boohoo Man section and picked up this knitted jumper here. So I quite liked it because it's got like 3D pattern on it and I obviously like the colour. I like neutrals if you can't tell. Um, and this is actually not like extremely soft but it is, it is softer than I thought it was going to be. And so on the on the website this is an oversized 3D graphic detail knitted jumper and I so I picked up a size small because it was men's and it was over, already oversized. I for me for the way I like things to fit I think I would have gone a size medium in this one. I'm gonna try it on again and see how I would style it and see maybe if I'm I will keep it or not. But um I love the colour, I love the pattern. I think it was like £17 when I bought it. And I think, but I think I will go back for a size medium. So if you like things really oversized, just size up. Next two things I bought are pajamas, and I personally think I look awful in the first pair. So I picked up this pair of pajamas. So it's long, long sleeve crop top, and long trousers. Now I kind of was hoping that because I'm short, the long sleeve crop top wouldn't be as cropped, but this top is tight. I picked up a size 12 and it was far too tight for me whereas the trousers fit me perfectly around the waist but were really long on me and it just it was not flattering at all they are a very soft material so I do enjoy the material but far too tight for me like I would not be comfortable sleeping in this at all honestly it was risky getting a crop top anyway because I'm not one I don't really like getting my belly out especially if I want to be comfy in nightwear but Really soft fabric. I love the pattern. I'm pretty sure there is like a short set with these, this pattern. So if you like the pattern and not the style, they'll hopefully have a different style available. Cause it was, I love the pat. I love the strawberry so much, but she's just, it's just not, it doesn't fit me. It doesn't suit me. It's just not for me. The next pajama set I definitely think was a lot more successful. So I picked up this stripey pajama set and it's got little love hearts so kind of part of their valentine collection and this is just like the short sleeve shirt and then it comes with shorts as well plenty room in these these fitted me perfectly so i got size 12 in these and they did fit me although i do like my jammies to be quite oversized so i feel like i maybe could have sized up a size or two because i like them to be baggy on me i don't i just want to be comfortable but much prefer the fit of these. I love the pattern. I like how it's striped with hearts. Like a subtle nod to Valentine's Day. But yeah, very cute. It's just a nice soft cotton material as well. So very comfortable to wear. Next up, I bought a, kind of a going out top, I want to say. I've um, got a week off coming up or I've had a week off. Um, and I'm hoping to do some things in the evening. So I thought I'll get a nice top for it. This top I picked up in a size 12 and it is stretchy. The buttons are real buttons so that's how you get it on. But you can see in the try on clips that it's definitely a bit tight for, it does not fit over my bust at all. Um, 
like very stretched so it is a stretchy material but because of the buttons you kind of do need to get the exact size so I would maybe size up if you want to get this I still quite like the top in general and um, I think with a wee black skirt it would look quite nice as well and boots and a blazer but I just I thought it was a bit different it feels really good quality like I like the quality and the buttons feel like they'll be fine but the buttons are real so so it does not look great when it's when it's really stretched out there but the one shoulder was quite nice as well so this is a shame because I did like this but it does not fit me so I don't have a try on clip for this because it didn't fit me Um, I was feeling so I picked up a size 10 I was feeling ambitious I thought this dress was going to be a lot stretchier than it is it has next to no stretch like that's it normally and that's it stretched next to none and there is no just because of the fabric there's no zip so I can actually get this over my bum that's about as far as I got and I thought I could probably like wriggle into it but then I have to wriggle out of it and also I was only trying it on I didn't want to mark it it's obviously not gonna fit me so definitely if you like this dress I'm sorry I can't give you I do think it's gonna be see-through as well though just with the way the fabric is so definitely nude underwear when you're wearing this but I would personally size up if you're in between sizes because this was not getting on me which is a shame I think it would have looked so nice so the next few things I have a collection of grey jackets I was really in the market for just kind of a, a fit not fitted but um a nice grey jacket not a long one not like a long wheel coat just a nice wee jacket the first thing I'm going to show you I do think is my favourite and is the one I'm going to keep. So I picked up this one here. So this one is the textured wool look button crop jacket and this one I got in a size 10 and this is perfect. It's exactly the kind of fit I wanted. Um, it's, it is more on the cropped side so it, I personally think that flatters my figure very well. And I just love the fit of it. I didn't want this to be oversized I mean I want this to be fairly fitted so that's why I went with the 10 feels good quality I think it looks quite nice I'm can't really complain about it like I really think this looks nice I'm very happy with this one I must say so this is my favorite one the other two I still love but this is the one I think I'm going to keep and I believe this was on sale when I bought it as well so it's a win-win win really so the next grey jacket I've got here is called the Batwing Collared Wool Look Coat in a grey. Now this one I still love, but this one's definitely bigger and hides my shape a lot more. You can't really see, I don't know why. I, don't, I honestly don't know why I hold these things up. You can't see them. You're just gonna look at the try on clip. You know? So I bought this in a size 10 as well because this one did look quite, quite big. I still, I love this for different reasons. I still think it's a nice coat. It's more of a, a shacket, if you get me with the material on the inside, whereas the other one is lined, so I feel like it's slightly better. Maybe not quality is the right word, but I live in Scotland, I need good, good jackets. Um, but yeah, I like this too. This is more the colour I was aiming for, for my jackets, but when I tried that on, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So that's fine. But, yeah. I do like this one I must say but it's just not not what I'm looking for and the bat wing is definitely a thing like when I fold it that's the way bat wing is in the description and it is 100% correct found the last grey jacket so this one is more of a bomber style jacket again in the the grey that I was looking for but it's more of a shacket material because it's got quite thin um a thin lining on the inside or no lining at all I would say maybe but that's just the other side of the fabric so this is the wool look pocket detail oversized bomber jacket and again I got it in the grey this was my least favourite out of all of them I still so when I say least favourite I mean I don't mean that I don't love it I just mean that out of all of them this was the third in line so same colour it's nice that it's a bomber, it's not, I don't think it's a crop bomber. So yeah, I still like this one, but I'm still gonna, I think the first one is gonna be my favourite. I'm gonna try them all on again though, just to, just to make sure. 
So the next few things are cohorts. Some you buy together, some you buy separately. I'm gonna start off with this knitted set here. I don't like it. So this is from their Ready for the Future collection. It's a slouchy belt cardigan and a wide leg knit set. It is a size 10, so I do see that, that I would have gone wrong there for the leg part, but the legs are tight, like, that's not even, that's not a size 10, and it doesn't really, like, it stretches, but it's, I was not, not a fan of this one, I'll be very honest, um, I don't like the material, I don't like the fit, I truly don't like anything about it, it is a thin material, it's a harsh material, it doesn't fit me properly, even as a size 10, like, like I know I probably should have got a size 12, but that's not a 10 either. Next knitted set I got, love. So it is this, I think I saw it on someone's TikTok, I can't remember their name, but I saw it on someone's TikTok. So it's maxi dark grey charcoal kind of um, knitted skirt. And then it comes with a matching jumper that's got their design logo on it. Now I love this for so many reasons. One. I would wear this jumper with leggings and jeans anyway. Two, I love maxi midaxi skirts. Like I just find them so, so comfortable. Slightly hard to walk in. There is, there's a little bit of stretch obviously, but it's a little bit hard to walk in. But this just feels like good thick quality. And I got this in a size medium. So I love this. They had another colour as well. I can't remember that. Was it black? Beige? They had a different colour, not just the grey. But I am very happy with this one. Like I think they're all of their design collections are actually quite quite nice. And so you buy that together, so that comes as a set. Next cord you do buy separately. So although I thought it was a fairly good price, so this is not gonna show well. So it's got a waistcoat that kind of falls falls over, folds over. So we've got a waistcoat that is baggy and got a nice adjustment I, can't, I don't want to what do I mean when I say baggy I mean like it's not a fitted wa waistcoat sorry and then I picked up the matching trousers now these are a little bit long on me we're not surprised I'm petite I'm five foot three um easy to fix so I bought the trousers in a size 12 and I bought the top in a size 10 the trousers I feel they fit me but I feel like they look like they're a little bit tight on me they don't feel that way but they look that way. So they've got this in this colour and they've also got it in a black, I believe. But um, I think even like this top, if you wore that with, with jeans or a skirt for a night out, I just think it's a bit different. Like I really, I just really enjoyed how it looks. Oh, the button is a little bit difficult, I won't lie, but I really like the waistcoat. I think it's a a little, I feel like it's a bit of a twist on your standard waistcoat. So the very last thing, and well done if you made it here, I've tried to be quick. I've been filming for 18 minutes, so that's to me, is a good sign. I picked up this fluffy Borg embroidered um, half zip sweater. Um, I bought this in size large. I don't know why I was reading it and couldn't see it out. So this is what it looks like from the outside. I think it looks quite, I really like the look of it. It's my kind of fleece, but it's not fluffy on the inside, which I feel like when you're wearing it, it's not a problem because you're, I'm normally wearing like a long sleeve top under this anyway, or I just don't notice it. But I, mm, I think I'd prefer it to be like fleecy or borg material all over but then I'm pretty sure it wasn't that expensive so that's I kind of yeah should have expected that but I do really like it I love the color I love this the borg itself is really nice and soft I love the embroidered detail with a half zip I've seen lots of fleeces with this kind of design and I do like them so I've thought while I'm doing this haul I'll grab my hands on one but I might see if I can get a softer one because I'm all about feeling comfy but yeah, and also I will absolutely destroy this with food and makeup and drinks and just anything really. 
So that was everything for my Boohoo haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. My social medias are down below if you want to check them out for other videos, content, photos, all of that. And I will see you in my next video.